but this deals between you and yourself. Pogo said, we have seen the enemy, they are us. Whatever has happened in your life, whatever is going on for you, if it's not the way you want it, any situation, consider the fact that everything happens for a reason, and that reason is there to serve you. How can you reframe this? How can you relook at this in such a way that helps you, that supports you, that puts you on the path to success and positivity again? It doesn't help you to be negative. It doesn't help you to wallow. All that can do is bring you down. It's time to change your mind. It's time to reframe, relook at it, have a new perspective, a new view, and put this in the light of this was there to serve you. There's no accidents in the universe. This happened for a reason, and that reason is there to help you. We grow up with the idea rich people aren't happy. Well, I know rich people that are laughing. They're very happy. And of course, I know people that are very wealthy and are very unhappy. I remember old Nightingale one time saying, since it doesn't make any difference whether you're rich or not, if you're happy or not, you might as well be wealthy. And then if you're miserable, you can at least be miserable in comfort. We've got to understand that all the money in the world is available to us, but we have to earn it. Now that does not mean we should work. This is where the meta secret really comes into play. Working happens to be the very worst way to earn money. We should work for satisfaction. People should go to work at what they love doing. When we think of work, what we're really talking about is how we spend our days. Work has a, probably a bad energy attached to it. We should spend our days doing what we absolutely love to do. When it comes to the fear of failure, you look at your life and you ask, if I pursue my dream, my passion, my love, and it doesn't work out, will I still be okay? Can I still love myself? Will life still go on? When you realize that the answer is yes, you remove the fear of failure. When you remove the fear of failure, you have energy to go forward and actually make it a success. Well, what about the fear of success? When you are successful, you can make a difference in the world. If you really want the world to be a happy, prosperous place, contribute a happy, prosperous person to it. You. The meta secret to happiness is that there is perfection in imperfection. That when we accept our environment for what it is and the people around us for who they are, we can make a big difference. Happiness. What makes you happy? Everyone is not the same. For me, it's research. I love researching and writing and putting multimedia programs together. And this allows me to do something else that I love, traveling the world. I travel more than 6,000 miles, that's 9,000 kilometers, every week. I've been to more than 52 countries. I board an airplane every two and a half days. I've been around the world more than 16 times in just a couple of years. I enjoy that, meeting new people, meeting new audiences, helping people. What makes you happy? That's what makes me happy. A key component to lift yourself out of depression is human connection. Go connect with another human being. Another powerful tool is movement. And a third is laughter. Go play and have some fun and watch your spirits begin to lift. The meta secret of life is to realize that the journey is the thing. I believe the first thing a person should do is establish a purpose. Why are you even here? Why do you get out of bed in the morning? Why are you living? I honestly believe every one of us are hardwired to do something. So how do you decide on your purpose? 
You decide on it by asking yourself, what do I really love doing? So you have your purpose. This is what you're going to do with the rest of your life. And then you build a vision. Then your goal is taking a bite out of that vision. Now, when you do that properly, you're going to love what you do. When you wake up in the morning, you can't wait to get going. And you're going to be doing it until you go to bed at night. Therefore, all of your day, all of your hours are filled doing with what you love to do. That's called living. Everything else is dying. See, there's a basic law of life. It says create or disintegrate. You're growing or dying. Find out what you love. Dedicate your life to it. Most of us, when we approach happiness, are looking for someone out there to make us happy, some event to occur, and then we'll be happy. If I get to the retirement stage, if I get my car, if my wife is nice to me, if my son comes home on time, then I'll be happy. The truth is, happiness is an inside job. It's a choice. When I have an expectation on how someone else should be, I've given my power over to them. What I want to do is simply learn how to create joy and happiness inside myself. And we can do that in numerous ways, by doing the things we love, by focusing on the good qualities in ourselves, by choosing to focus on the good qualities in others instead of being judgmental. Once we realize that happiness is an inside job, and I get to be as happy as I choose to be, not as happy as other people make me, the reality is I can move into a state of pretty much constant joy and bliss. Stuff happens. Life happens. And then you get to choose. Look, you have a mission to do. You have to find meaning in your life and you have to share it with others. There's a whole world out there that is suffering, that is in survival. They are grieving and they are hurting. You and I can make a difference. You begin right now by looking at your life, no matter what's going on in your life right now, and you find the good in it, the positive in it, the growth-oriented reasons for whatever it happens to be. You find the good in it, and whatever is happening, you turn it into something positive. You turn it into something good, and you go and share it with the world. You will become an inspiration to others. People model other people's behavior, and that's how the world changes. You be that inspiration for success. You be the model for change. You be that person that has meaning in their life, and you will give meaning to yourself and others. It all begins with you. You have always had, you have at this moment, you will always have in the future, the power to achieve, to accomplish, to, to have anything and everything you want in the terms of monetary wealth, prosperity, in terms of health, in terms of happiness, relationships. However, it will never, ever occur until and unless and until after you first are clear on the specific goals. Number two, you are very clear on the action steps. The operative word is action steps you have to take. Number three, you have an action step based plan, a strategy, and the steps are just the tactics. You implement it in a timely, regular, scheduled way Number four, you monitor, you pulse, you really pay keen attention to your progress. And you adjust if it's not what you want, and you adjust higher if it's better than you want. And number five, you focus on other people's benefit. You don't be self-consumed. You do those five things, the world really is your oyster. You know, you, you find people that are quite comfortable with what's termed uncertainty. The truth is there isn't any uncertainty. There's only the law. And the law decrees that everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. If we build the image in our mind of what we want, and we're true to that image, that'll control the vibration we're in, that controls what we do, and it controls what we attract. 
Now, the problem is, we let that image get out of the way every now and then, and we're controlled by something outside. And that takes us off track. We've got to correct it and come back on track. But a person that has direction in their life, there's no uncertainty. There's only good stuff coming. It's stuff that's going to cause the image in our mind to move into form. And so we wake up every day wondering what part of it's going to show up today and where's it coming from and who's going to deliver it. Every day holds something really good for us. Alfred Adler, the great psychologist, said, I am grateful to the idea that has used me. I love that. Get a big idea and understand that you're going to see it move into form and that's just as certain as the night following the day because that's governed by law too. The laws of correspondence of vibration, polarity, and rhythm come into play when you talk about the meaning of life and happiness. We make our happiness dependent on what other people can do for us instead of what we can do for ourselves. You know, the there's a concept they don't teach you in school. It's called enough. Sometimes what is enough for one person may not be that way for somebody else. And we want more. And when you want more, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Because not always will you get more. Sometimes you do, but it's not all the time. I don't know who told us on this planet that everything is going to go our way. Sometimes things will go your way, sometimes they won't. We've got to learn to accept this. That's the rhythm and the flow of life. All of life is filled with possibilities. And when you see possibilities, well, it allows you to accept failures as not final. Failures are learning lessons. The American Indians, the Hopi Indians in the Southwest, well, they have a belief. Every day they wake up and pray to the Great Spirit and they say, oh, great spirit, allow us today, this day, to make 20 mistakes. You see, they believe that by making mistakes, by failing, you actually learn more. You add to this wonderful fountain of wisdom that is called you over a period of time. And if you don't fail, they say, you don't learn anything. So how many times have you failed? I know I have failed a lot, but over the course of the years, I did also knew something that was different and that was that I was responsible for my own happiness. I knew that there was laughter everywhere but I also knew that if I wanted to participate that laughter has to come from inside not from outside and that's the nature of spirit and that's the nature of who you are and that's the meta secret to everything possible. This is our home. We have nowhere else to go. Earth gives us everything we need to celebrate life. Everything you do will either hurt or heal our planet. brought here to learn many lessons, to learn how to love who you are, where you are, and the people you surround yourself with. Just remember that you carry within yourself everything you need for the fulfillment of your life's purpose. You are the sum of all of your experiences all of your choices and you are a work in progress you deserve more happiness more love more joy more abundance and especially more fun life was never meant to be a struggle you were meant to participate in this grand miracle called life. And as you begin to look all around you, start now to taste, smell, hear, and touch with your heart the abundance that surrounds you.
you are indeed spectacular beings of light. So if you want to know the meta secret to life, to happiness, live more, love more, laugh more. Change the stories in your head and you can change the world. It's a short trip. Make it a good one.